It's been about a hot minute since I've done a favorites video, you guys. In fact, my last one, and I think the one before that even, was not face of the month, but face of the last three months. Things that I've liked in the last three months, and it is time. So I usually shoot myself putting everything on. I didn't do that today, but I'm going to talk about each thing that has reached to the top, the creme de la creme, the cream for the milk, whatever the saying is. I think you know what you're talking about. I'm Kiki, I'm the Hooded Lid, and this is kind of a favorites video, but I hate to commit. I have commitment issues to the word favorites, so I like to call it face of the month, and I'm wearing everything we're talking about. Let's start with foundations, shall we? In the last three months, I have come to know and love three foundations very well. I'm sure there's more. All I did was I looked at my thumbnails for the last three months since my last video, and I didn't open up the description box to see if I was talking about something else besides what I was talking about. So there might be a couple of things that are missing, but I fell very hard for the Ritual Defeat Foundation. Now, I, by the way, Surat Ritual Defeat will both be in this video, and I do have discount codes. Open that little box, the Show More, swipe it, hit it, do what you need to do, and you will see my codes in there. This foundation is so, so, so beautiful. That's all I got. It's so beautiful. I have three shades, and I kind of have to mix. Sometimes one of the shades is good, sometimes another of the shades is good, but sometimes I have to mix two shades, depending, because I got this, I think, in spring, uh, early spring, and at first I was putting two together, and then I was fine with one, and then that didn't work, and another one worked. It looks so beautiful. There have been times when I've looked at my thumbnails thinking, oh my god, my skin looked great that day. And sure enough, this is what I was wearing. At the time, though, the question was, how will this wear in summer? I don't love it in summer. I've worn it a couple of times, and I am a sweaty Betty, and don't love it in summer. But that's okay. The heat will be over soon, and I will be back to using this. I have to say, my favorite foundation so far of the year, but that does not negate the fact that since I got this, the Fenty, I've been using this a lot. My favorite way to use it is actually with the Bloom Effects sunscreen, which is heavy and has an oil in it, and I think some people might not like that, but I don't mind it, and I really don't mind it with this. I get this to a medium, strong medium coverage, and I just loved pulling to it. Since I got this, I've been going to it a lot. And then finally, the Dior Backstage Face and Body. This is a new formulation, and you can tell it's new because the Dior is all in caps. If it's just a cap D and everything's small case, that's the old version. They reformulated it. I don't remember why. It doesn't matter. What matters is, hold on, I have to get my evidence. This. The other day, I went to go run some errands. And I wore a button-down gap. This is their really large shirt, which I got in extra large. And you must own it, you guys. It is so easy. You can wear it with skirts. You can wear it with jeans. I wear it with a pair of black leggings and a pair of, I can't remember what kind of sneakers, but they're not athletic sneakers. And I feel very casual chic. I think everyone should have one of these. I like it so much that I got two. And the reason I got two is because I knew this kind of stuff would happen. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. Yeah, this is good. This is good all the way up here. Now, the day I wore this, I only took my foundation down to about here because I knew I was wearing a white shirt. But you can't just leave your foundation here unless you have a perfect match. But I have redness in my neck, in my face, and I just brought it down a little bit. And, you know, when you're standing up straight and your collar is quite spread, you're good. I didn't have any on my chest and yet managed to get like this. And I thought, oh, you know what? When I get in the car and you're slouching down, the shirt moves up. Maybe it'll move back a little bit. That's how that happened. It does not happen if you use this. Transfer is a thing that I don't see anybody talking about. I never see Tati puts on 14 tons of makeup, brings it down her neck and her chest. Never heard her once say, oh yeah, I'm staining my clothes. So I know how to get this out, but I don't want to have to do this every time I wear it. So in the summertime, 
fantastic. It really stays. It's great for sweaty Bettys like me. But I don't think I was even sweating that day. It was just plain old transfer. This, I haven't had any transfer issues with it. It is not supposed to transfer. It is supposed to really adhere to your skin and stay there. And that's the kind of thing. Those are my three foundations that have been favorites for me over the last three months. Number one, Ritual to Feed. When the weather starts cooling down, if you haven't tried it already, check out my Ritual to Feed video, the first one, the review. And then check out the second one about colors because I did face swatches so you could see what the colors were all about. Bronzers. I have really come to love these bronzers from Srat. I am wearing one of them today and I can't remember which one. They only have two and I have both of them. This one you would think would be cooler, but I don't think that's the case. Let me just do a little swatch for you, and I will for sure post right here my Surratt video so you can take a look because I did do swatches for that. This lower swatch is this one, and this upper swatch is this one. Of course you want to know the names, and of course I don't have my glasses with me. So the top one is Claire, and the bottom one is Du, D-O-U-X. And what I've been doing is taking my Surratt brush, which I've had for years, and I thought, this I don't like this for powder. I like my small Wayne Goss. And the other day I discovered, oh, this great little bronzer brush. So I've been using those two together, and it's been my go-to bronzer for, well, as, since I got it. And in that Surratt video, about this bronzer, you can see that very tan, sun-kissed look I got where I kept my eyes very minimal, and I loved it. Wearing it today, wearing the Dior today, let's talk about concealer. I have tried the Ciroc concealer. I can't remember what other concealers I tried in the last three months. Oh, I tried the Natasha Denona, which, I, first of all, I thought the shades were very difficult, and there just wasn't a shade for me. I tried, and the one that I did the video with I felt it looked awkward in real life. It may have looked fine on the video, but in real life it was just strange. And I really didn't feel it was good for mature eyes. There was something about it. It's like I wanted to like it, and I almost did, but not quite. This is new from Makeup Forever, their HD concealer. And I've been using this since I got them. I've had them for about three weeks now, and I think I've used them almost every single time I put on my makeup. I love these. Now, when I first got them, I just used the doe foot and put it on the under the eye, and I thought, oh, this is a little strange. It, it's hard to blend. But the truth is, why everyone should get muffler. Mufflers for everybody. The truth is, they don't have a great, great shade for me, and I found if I put these two shades together on my hand, mix them with my brush, and then applied it, it was fantastic. I think it looks quite skin-like. It stays very well. I will say it's not full, full coverage. If you want full coverage, something beautiful under the eyes, the Tom Ford stick is so beautiful, especially mature under eyes, which is what I have. I think if you don't have mature under eyes, it's insanely beautiful, probably. I don't know. So that's my concealer. I've been wearing it nonstop, really, since I got it probably about three weeks ago. For lips, there are three things that stand out to me. I am wearing right now this Kira Weiss. I wear this all the time. This is a balm, and it's so comfortable, and in parts, just a little bit of color. And I just adore it. It reminds me very much of the balms from Hermes, in that I love this so much. I thought... <laughs> I thought it was a limited edition, so I bought a refill for it, and then apparently it's not. I have in Rose Debt, and it has less color than this, but I just was obsessed with that when it first came out, and the Cure Weiss reminds me of that. And even though Cure Weiss is expensive, it's less expensive than the Hermes. And this is such elegant packaging. This Charlotte Tilbury product, I don't remember the name, Air Something? looks like this. It's a moussey matte and it's so comfortable. And actually, everything I tried on from this video, which I'll post right here, I absolutely loved. It was such a 
me kind of makeup. You know, subtle, but I was wearing makeup. Love this color. It feels so beautiful. It feels buttery on the lips, do you know what I mean? And they say you can, you know, tap this out if you want and just leave a little bit of color. I still feel that buttery nature, but it's there. Such a pretty, pretty, comfortable, lovely lip product that has some diversity to it, but I think most lip products actually do. Uh, my only complaint is I don't like most of the colors, but this color is a spring dream. And then the other one is such a surprise to me, really. This is the Tarte, the thing that changes colors, and I'll let you know below what color I got. This does what I thought the Lawless would do. I think it was Lawless. Someone came out with something, forget the filler. It fills out your lips, your lines, and it doesn't. I assume they're unimpressed with that. This one does. Um, doesn't immediately, you gotta give it 10 minutes. I love the color. So this is a pH product that changes color a little bit, but there are several colors of this because there would be something a little less color, a little more color, whatever. They're fun. It's not um, minty, but there's something going on here. I don't know what it is, but it's not aggressive. And I also find, whenever I put this on and I happen to be driving, I would never keep this in my car. No, no, no. I keep it here, but if I put it on, I get in the car, and I look in the rear view mirror, I'm like, ah, oh, my lips look big. <laughs> it does something to plump up your lips and to fill out your lines, and I just happen to love this and I highly 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 recommend it and that's probably my favorite lip product even though I love the other two that one I'm, I'm a little bit crazy about now here's an unusual offering from Valentino and this is lip and cheek and I actually wore this the other day it's the same thing as the Charlotte Tilbury where you put it on and you can take a little bit off or have it full opacity and it's lovely and it has a lovely doe foot applicator as well. This color, I love this as blush. I'm wearing it today and it's just a very natural looking, just a little bit of something. It doesn't look like I'm wearing makeup on my skin tone. And I also happen to like this on my lips, which is unusual because it's so light, but I think it works. So these I go to all the time, especially this lighter color. And again, I'll list the colors down below. You'll know because the word red or Rossi is this. I think this is Valentino Rossi. And I think this might be Catch Me if you can, but I'm not 100% sure. Another blush, the Makeup by Mario, cream blush. He does such a good job with blushes. Eyeshadows not so much. Blushes I love. Again, it's a very light color. Where the Valentino is cool, this one's a little bit warmer, and I've been going to this one a lot. And again, that's some, it's the same video where I had this and this and the Tom Ford quad. This color in particular, it's called Barely Blushing. I adore it. So let's talk about the Tom Ford quad. Again, when I first got this, all the time. This is my dream color palette. I do like a pink, but it's not too pink. It's like a skin tone pink for me. And this brown, and I was constantly just doing this brown, one and done when I first got this. You can see it's been worked on a little bit. It's such a shame, it's a limited edition. It's trash day. Um, so I'll stop when I'm done talking about this one. It's a beautiful, beautiful color story, and I hope it's still available because I highly, highly recommend this. You can do the pink all over, you can do the brown all over. You have a couple of shimmers or satin kind of colors, satin plus. Love, love this palette. Okay, we're in eyes, so let's talk a little bit about eyes. These Merit Solos, I'm wearing this one right now. And again, in the description box, can't see, I did a video posting it right here for you, but I felt that this color would be a perfect one and done, and that's what it is. It just gives me a little bit of something, helps to shape my eyes, and it's perfect. And when it sets, it sets. See the review, 
but those are really, really lovely one and dones that aren't in a stick, that aren't particularly emollient, so they don't slip and slide all over your eyes. I've tried several, many. I have done a one and done video, and I and I have footage for another one that I've been shooting for probably two years, and I just hate editing videos like that. They're tough because I actually put them on my eyes so you can see, as opposed to, I saw someone do a video saying, I'm not gonna put all this on my eyes, it's too much work. And I thought, well, <laughs> I'm wearing that today. And then two other eyeshadow picks, this Natasha Denona. This is what happens when I get something I like, I wear, 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 and then something comes in and says, no, this, this color, all the time. This is such an ideal color for me for a one and done. This is such a beautiful palette. If you are fair skinned, I would say if you're much darker than me, I don't know, maybe it won't be your thing. I consider myself a light medium. If you are not medium, I think medium can do it, but if you're a deeper medium, maybe you won't like this unless you like a very subtle look. But from medium, all the way down to fair, this is going to work for you. And I said in the video, I believe, I don't know this for a fact, I believe that her glam palette is her number one palette. I think this one is more useful and wearable, whereas the glam palette to me is more about evening. It's a little bit too dark. A beautiful sister, a beautiful accompaniment, words, and I uh, love, love, love this palette. So darn pretty and so darn um, feminine every day and evening without looking like, you know, you're wearing a peacock on your eyes, which is beautiful. It's just not real life. And then finally, this Patrick Ta palette that I just got, okay? It's unfair to say this is one of my favorites of the last three months without being with it for some time, but I know that it is because these colors are very similar down here to the first one, which I love that palette, and these are cooler. I'm gonna post that video right here. Not a lot of people caught that video. I did a look on each individual eye, and this look was amazing. Now, when I first start this look, I get an everyday look. I could just put on mascara and go, but I kept on going into the black color and did a liner and got a beautiful, evening look that is sophisticated, in my opinion, without having glitter all over your face, you know, a more refined kind of evening look, which I really, really appreciate. So I think you could do those cool shades day and evening, depending on your undertone, of course. And I feel I can do cools or these warmer ones because they're not too warm. And you probably could get an evening look out of this one but it would be more difficult. You'd really be relying on the cream. So these two are creams and they are protected from the powders going into them and ruining their consistency. And this might help keep them fresh as well. But look at these lovely little color stories we have going on here. And you guys, that's it. Those are my favorites. Again, I'm sure I left something out. I'm positive I did. But I know that these are things I'm pulling to, although in the last three months there might have been something else I was doing all the time and then I stopped, for instance. But this is right at the edge. I think I got this right before my last video. These, um, what are these, Huda Beauties on the cheeks and the lips. I don't love them on the cheeks as much, but I love this one. It's supposed to be lavender on the lips. I was just thinking, should I add it? No. I don't think this lip color actually goes with my makeup look. It's just it feels so good. Let's do a check. You guys, I'm 61. My birthday was last week. And the lines, the vertical lines, I really feel like they are filled out. And I, I do love a pink. I'm always looking for the perfect pink. I have a lot of pinks, I think, because I'm always looking for the perfect pink and I haven't quite found it. Um, I felt like this was the perfect pink and it was a sample and when I went to go buy it, when I finally tried it, it it's discontinued. That's by um, Givenchy. And that's going to wrap up today's video. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I should take my hair down. This is like how I'm going to close all the time when it's hot. Take the hair down because I know a lot of people like the hair down. 
and I got like braids from yesterday and then I put it in the the bun so it's you know big crazy hair let's fluff up the roots a little bit there we go <laughs> I'm a little weird thank you so much for spending time with me I hope it was helpful let me know if you tried any of these things and which you ended up loving more than you thought you might. And let me know if I've, um, if I piqued your curiosity about something here that you haven't seen anyone talk about. And that's going to wrap it up. Until we meet again. Oh, I think that was a hummingbird. Come on. Um, I'm wishing you good health.